What's up guys, it's Gaza. Uh, this one's going to be about farming legendaries um, and my experience, like what I've found is the best way to uh, to get your hands on as many legendaries as possible. Um, also touching on cores, the last one, number six, was all about gear power and expressing the importance of uh, having a high gear power score because that is tied to your melee damage and your ability damage. So, um, and, uh, and I said that the way you get your gear power up is by finding weapons with high gear power bonus. As you can see here, every weapon comes with a gear power bonus, and then they all add up to equal your gear power score. I wouldn't uh, worry about farming too much um, until you get to world level 2, until you complete world level 2 even, um, because uh, when you when you're in world level one when you first start the game your drop rate is not going to be very high defeat the second mothership um, to complete the game and then you'll get the second transmission which says your drop rate is now basically maximum you know it's at max uh, like there's a lot of different things that can affect your drop rate um, like mission difficulty and stuff but uh, world level is the first one you need to uh, take into account so just play the game um, you know don't worry about farming uh, for that perfect legendary at first just enjoy the game and uh, use the weapons that you pick up so to uh, to find legendaries right in in this game um, legendaries like the RNG in this game is 100% totally random like you can get the most powerful weapon you've got in your arsenal in uh you know in like the first mission in the game and then you can get some really crappy green gun um from a large rare chest at the at the end of an arc ship you know you can go all the way through the five floors of an arc ship and uh, open five rare chests and get nothing from them you know like that's happened to me so many times Technically, that means that there isn't really going to be a, a best method or a, a worst method, you know. It's all about uh, time, I suppose, and how, you know, just how much, how many legendaries you can get in a certain amount of time. And for me personally, from my experience, um, that it's definitely not arc ships because you'll spend, you know, between, if you're really good, it'll take you 30 minutes to get through an arc ship. If you're not so good, you know, it'll take you an hour. You could take the best part of an hour to get through an arc ship and then get to the end, open all five chests and not get any legendaries. So you've just, you know, if you're farming legendaries, then you've just wasted, um, you know, an hour or almost an hour. So, uh, there's UFOs. Now, UFOs are good, but they're not my first choice for farming legendaries. Um, after many hours in this game, and all of them spent trying to find legendaries because I'm still looking for my, my ultimate dream weapon, um, missions. Just doing your standard uh, story campaign missions, they're definitely the best way to get um, the the highest concentration of legendaries in the shortest amount of time play on veteran because uh, that's gonna put your legendary drop chance uh, it's gonna go up quite a lot see there plus 24 percent if you play on professional it's only up by 11 percent and then rookie like who's playing on rookie you don't get any bonus at all uh, so professional you know 11 but if you're farming you have to be playing on veteran because 24 but that's like almost uh, 25 percent the first thing you're gonna want to do is um, go and find yourself three respawn beacons like first thing before you do anything else and now we got three and that is the reward hog uh, maximum counter so um, now when we go and uh, continue the mission that should be the first thing you do before you kill any bosses uh, ideally before you open any chests even like you want to do this because every every drop now has a higher chance of dropping more cores and uh, I believe you know higher chance of dropping legendary weapons it's a point I definitely want to put across if you want to get as much uh, stuff as many rewards as many possible legendaries as you can 
um, from every chest and every enemy killed then do this first uh, one last thing so as you can see now the uh, the three pictures are gone that's because I let four uh, zombies m uh, mutants beat me to death so now it's gone so just remember um, if you die if you're on a farming run and you do die uh, you're gonna have to go and find three more uh, respawn beacons because it will have reset your reward hog counter so uh, yeah just keep that one in mind UFOs are good like UFOs are good because each each one each UFO you go into you're gonna have three chests um, and each of those chests obviously can contain a legendary weapon but uh, running these UFOs over and over trying to farm uh, you're gonna lose your mind just because it's they're all the same you know they're they're, they're you're in there um, it looks they all look the same they every room looks the same um, and once you've done a few of those in a row you just you're bored you know you want to do something else I go into uh, missions instead because you've got um, you've got lots of different ways that you can uh, you can drop legendaries you know you can get them from enemies that you've killed you can get them from your normal green chests that you find uh, lying around the place you can get them from killing the uh, the little mini bosses you can get them from the hideouts the blue events where you uh, you have to kill a certain amount of enemies in a certain amount of time you're you're getting a bit more of a uh, variation in what you're doing you know you can go to different places um, do different tasks it's not the same repetitive thing like UFOs are over and over you do 10 UFOs in a row and you're gonna be burnt out you know you're not gonna want to play anymore when you go and do arc ships if you complete the arc ship and you get to the chest room at the end there's five large chests um, and when you're in missions, I didn't know this, but uh, I found one the other day, you have a chance of finding these large rare chests. And um, even if you don't get a legendary weapon out of one of these rare chests, you're going to get a lot more cores than you would out of a, a normal chest, you know? Nice. Uh, you saw, like, I didn't get a legendary out of that one, but... Um, I'm, you know, I'm guessing that they they have the chance to uh, to drop legendaries like everything else does in the game. So, um, and even if you don't get legendaries, you know, getting cores is uh, everyone needs cores, right? So, definitely uh, look out for those chests. If you're farming legendaries, not because you're looking for a, you know, the perfect gun. Let's say you've already found your perfect gun. Let's say you got lucky and you've early on in the game you've you've found a. A keeper it's got 12 slots it's got a great perk that you really like but you're looking for legendary weapons because you need the materials right you want to break them break down these uh, all these guns that you're finding get the materials so that you can work on your your good gun that you're you're keeping um, another good way to get your hands on legendary materials is these assignments there we go legendary metal so uh, the rewards for completing this assignment is um, you get 191 legendary metal and then uh, two level three power cores so power cores are good because they're the red ones they're the damage you want a lot of those and the legendary metal you want be to uh, to reroll your your good weapons you're always gonna want that always you're always gonna want to reroll your sockets on your guns I'm constantly you know empty on legendary metal because I'm always doing it I've got 5,000 I'd gone all the way down to like you know 200 I had nothing um, and now I'm back up to almost 6,000. So that's what I'm that's what I'm working on. So yeah, that's it. that's pretty much it, guys. Um, don't worry too much about where you're farming, because everywhere, um, every every enemy, every chest, and every location has the chance of dropping a really good legendary. It's just about what you what you think um, is the best use of your time when you're when you're trying to farm. Um, whatever it is you're trying to find. If you're trying to find cores, then UFOs are really good. Hopefully uh, soon I'm going to be hitting 5 million gear power and uh, when I do that I'll, I'll be putting up a video like a, a status report or something, you know. But yeah, take it easy guys and I'll catch you in the next one.